Many eat only the most expensive, it is also the president's suite for 2 million a day, he wants to use 48 high-end entertainment alone, but even so, I'm still not happy all day long, always sad, because of these things, he's been playing for a whole year and 3 months. To find some excitement, the man was bold enough to wear a raincoat, then open the cabin, the electromagnetic shoes automatically float on the floor, the security guard is also in place, the man walked step by step to the edge of the ship, then jumped from the deep moon into the endless star sea, this is his first time in space, watching the pure darkness of this deep and unseen ground, the man couldn't help but cry, after floating in space for 6 hours, the man finally felt the sense of existence. Just as he was about to leave the space suit, suddenly the ghost god came to the cabin again, then put his hand on the switch, he was the only one left on the big spaceship, the man never thought. It turns out that loneliness can really drive a person crazy. A year ago, this is a one and a half flight with 5,000 passengers to the new home of mankind, according to the preset program, the passengers will sleep in the sleeping compartment for 120 years, however, the spaceship was hit by a small star stone, the situation of starvation, although the protective cover blocked most of the collision, but a larger meteorite, it was also hit by a power core with a protective cover, the system automatically repairs the damaged parts, but the passengers in the 1498 sleeper were awakened by accident, under the guidance of the program, Jim woke up from his sleep, he went back to his room to dress up, ready to meet other passengers, but he followed instructions, when I came to the classroom to watch the introduction of the civilian star, but I found that he was the only one in the room, Jim quickly ran to the central hall of the spaceship, there's still no one here, he realized something was wrong. So he came to the connection bridge, asked the captain to understand the situation, but the door is closed here, Jim is not authorized to open the cabin, it's hard to expect a living person, he came to the tower, asked about artificial intelligence, I don't know. The flight is 90 years away from the destination, Jim was scared to contact a company, it takes 19 years for the message to return to Earth, when he received the reply, it's 55 years later, Jim was standing there all the time, he was walking around in the spaceship, trying to understand his current situation, at this time, he suddenly saw someone in the bar, he was excited to look at it, he found out that the bar was a robot, after a few drinks of wine, Jim decided to accept reality, in the next few days, he began to try to repair his sleeping bag, but reality is right in front of you, the sleeping bag is just a container, I can't help him get back into sleep, 8 months have passed, the initial sense of freshness has disappeared, Jim was all over the place, loneliness is going to drive him crazy, he even wanted to let himself fly into space, end this mental pain, Jim climbed up from the ground, suddenly attracted by the woman in the sleeping bag, his name is Laura, he's a New York writer, after looking at his files, Jim took Laura as a spiritual partner, gradually he had a bold idea, if you wake up Laura, wouldn't it be so painful, after a difficult fight of thoughts, Jim moved out of the toolbox, the man opened the sleeping bag, insert a piece of chip in, then use a screw to gently poke, the sleeping bag broke short, it automatically awakes the female passenger inside, look at Laura sitting down slowly, Jim quickly packed up and went back to his room, when Laura woke up, Jim pretended to be a victim again, he explained the situation to him, when he learned that he was 89 years away from his destination, Laura's mood was out of control, But after all, Laura is a cultural person, it only takes a day to regain his sanity. He began to plan scientific fitness, make sure you live longer, fight to wake up the others, the next few days they began to understand each other, living on such a big spaceship alone, it could be a kind of suffering, but a bunch of aliens live here, there are a lot of things to do, as they get along. The longer the longer, the longer the love is, the longer the love is, in the process of a spacewalk, the two finally made up, however, there is always a day when you can't keep your fire, after a year of getting along, Jim is ready to propose, when the wine treasure was talking to Laura, I thought there was no secret between the two, so it was said that, Jim took several months, I decided to wake him up from the sleeping bag, Laura felt the sky was turning, the disaster in her imagination, it was a carefully planned scam, the next day the two met in the restaurant, the night she was sleeping, Jim opened his eyes, and found that Laura was watching him in bed, next second. The next day, Jim tried all sorts of ways to seek forgiveness, but what he did was no different from murder, at the same time, the spaceship began to malfunction continuously. The two were so stubborn for a few months until one day a man's voice came through the radio and they immediately rushed to the main hall and found that the captain was awakened. Using his power line, the three began to look for reasons for the failure and the captain gradually understood the situation of the two. Laura found the captain to complain but the captain did not say anything because he understood the two's feelings very well. You're right, Aurora, but the drowning man will always try to drag somebody down with him. It's not right, but the man's drowning. 
The plane was broken and couldn't find it for a while and the three had to go back to rest but when they were asleep the plane suddenly had a more serious problem. The woman was swimming in the pool and the man's gravity suddenly dropped and the water in the pool gradually floated up and formed a water ball that wrapped her in the middle. The woman finally found out from the inside with all her strength but was rushed back. This time, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't separate himself from the water and he had to move desperately. Fortunately, the failure lasted only a few minutes. As the man's gravity re-entered the line, he finally climbed out of the water. Soon three people in the control table met the data provided by the system. The failure on the flight is increasing rapidly and it will not take long to cause basic health systems to be affected. The final result of the wreckage of the three people is ready to split up to find the cause of the failure. The captain suddenly fell to the ground after a diagnosis of the medical cabin. He had 612 diseases all over his body because he was awakened from the sleeper cabin and the organs in his body began to deteriorate. The captain couldn't hold it for long and before he died he handed his full line bracelet to two people. Next. The life of the passenger is in their hands and the two people begin to quickly inspect the various warehouses. When checking the engine room, the door here was locked and Jim had to open it by force. Pressure fault lockdown initiated. At the critical moment, Jim moved to the other side and threw it over the flat floor so that Laura blocked the hole on the floor. Following the hole on the floor. The two quickly found the cause of the failure of the meteorite machine through the reaction furnace control circuit board. The pressure of the reaction furnace is getting higher and higher and it's going to explode and Jim has to change to a new part but when he restarts the system he finds that he can't get rid of it normally and before the reaction furnace explodes he has to get rid of it manually. Jim took the cabin door as a shield and went into the exhaust pipe outside the plane but it was worse than expected and the exhaust door had to be manually opened. This means that he has to stay here and endure the high temperature of the reactor and then he has to pull the exhaust switch off with Jim's insistence. But Jim was also blown out of the pipeline to the The rocket's tail flame flies in the distance and Jim throws out the door in his hand and uses it to reverse the effect and turns it around but his spaceship's already severely damaged. Before oxygen was lost, he sincerely apologized to Lola and soon Lola rushed out of the spaceship. I'm coming to get you. Jim was about to float into space. At the critical moment, Laura grabbed her safety rope on her body and brought her back to the ship. However, after the diagnosis of the medical cabin, Jim has confirmed death. Xiao needs medical supervision to perform surgery. At this time, the captain's bracelet played a key role. Laura used her power to control, start all treatment methods, finally save Jim. After experiencing a life and death crisis, the two finally reconciled. Jim checked the manual in the medical cabin. Found that he could be re-entered into sleep. It's just that there's only one of these devices. After serious consideration, Laura decided to give up sleep. Choosing to spend the rest of her life with Jim, 